Okay, so we should all know at this point that sidestepping is an insanely strong tool in this game. Um, I'm not complaining that it's overpowered. I think it's a really good addition to the game. You know, it, it really helps um, getting in on zoning or spamming. If you predict something, you can, like, you know, dodge out of the way. And it really adds to the fluidity and movement. Like, even if you're in the air, you can change the trajectory. You know, it just adds a lot more movement and, like, able to, like, get around things in this game. Which I really enjoy. And it's a really good aspect for an arena fighter to be able to move fluidly and properly. But, um, I'm sorry, but they are, they are just, <laughs> they're too good. I know if you've, if you've ever fought online, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because there are always situations, like, maybe even at least, like, once in a game, where you go to press a button, but the opponent sidesteps, and then they go to, um, they sidestep, and then press a button on you, and then you actually sidestep their button, and then press the button, and then they sidestep and press the button, and so it's like sidestep attack, sidestep attack, sidestep attack, and no one's hitting each other because the sidesteps, you just keep pressing button, sidestepping, button, sidestepping, but then you keep dodging each other, and then it's just this weird loop. And I'm not complaining about that exactly, because that doesn't really bother me too much, because you can always just, you know, stop that and then do something else. But, um, what I really don't like about, um, uh, sidesteps is that they are so good, they're so fast, they cost you, like, nothing, and they're just so good. So what's good about a sidestep is that it's almost like it's adding invincibility to the beginning of your attack, and that's how a lot of people use it. They just, you know, like, if, when you're in neutral like this, no one's pressing any buttons, but you're, like, wondering who's gonna go first. A lot of the time, people just sidestep into buttons. And that is almost the same thing as Mirio doing his invincibility into this punch, except they don't have to do a big, unsafe, predictable punch, because they can just sidestep and they're going into buttons, they can make themselves safe. Because sidesteps do actually have, bre um, invincibility frames, and even if, um, you go to attack them outside of the invincibility frames, they're moving so fast and quick that most moves are gonna whiff. So, what I would change about them to make them a little bit more fair is that, see how it, t it costs about a third of my meter? I can do about three, and I'm like completely out. You can still keep doing them, but I would make it cost half of your entire stamina. Maybe even, <laughs> if I'm feeling a bit evil, I think I would make it cost like even three quarters, because they are such a strong tool, and it's not like you can, like, you only have one every, like, five seconds then, because you can keep doing them even when you're completely out of stamina. But it just make it, actually, people have to think about when they're gonna sidestep, because at the moment, they're such a brainless tool. You're like, oh, I'll sidestep into this, or just sidestep into run away. Like, they're just, like, just brief frames of, of invincibility, basically. And they cost you, like, nothing, you know, or sidestep, run away, sidestep, run away a bit. And, like, it's not costing me anything, because my meter comes back super quick. So I make it cost, like, three quarters of your meter, so that if you do a sidestep, and you just like, I don't know, make the wrong decision, and the opponents can is now putting pressure on you, or you're blocking something, or they're attacking you, they're gonna break your guard easily, because you have, like, used up a lot of your stamina doing these, like, really strong sidesteps. And they're still gonna be really strong tools, but you just have to think about them a little bit more when you do it. And I would also maybe just have a little bit more recovery at the end, so you can't just go, like, almost like straight into buttons because it's almost like it's like just adding invincibility to the beginning of your button which i find kind of ridiculous so i'd have like a little bit more recovery maybe like so it'd have to look like this every time so you can't cancel it you have to like wait for them to do the full animation and then do the side step because at the moment it does like something like this you cancel it and your attacks come out so quick so i'd make them come out a little bit slower after you sidestep just so they're not such like ridiculous tools like instant sidestep into buttons is not such a strong tool. You have to, like, it's a bit slower, so you can't, like, have invincibility even punish almost anything. But yeah, I feel like those changes, they're not gonna drastically change the sidestep mechanic too much. They're gonna make it cost a lot more. It's still not ridiculous. It's not like it's costing you meter. It's something that just charges pretty quickly. But, um, you have to think about it, because if you just dash, like, sidestep into your opponent, and they're attacking you and you're blocking, they're gonna break your guard, and that's what you have to take for making, like, the wrong decision. But yeah, um, that's what, how I would change the sidestep mechanic in this game. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.